So hey there everyone and good morning. It's a Thursday morning here at 8.50 a.m. I'm doing something a little different today. So often we've been doing a lot of live streams here. I'm not live streaming this one. This is going to be a recorded video, but I'm still going to kind of treat it like a live stream, which means I'm working with no net. We're actually going to go through some things together. And on our last video, we were talking about some of our new construction progression work and also about the new website that we're just still roughing out called See My Build. So while the website is being developed and we're going to get some more information into here on the front page, I'm going to start doing our new uh, client construction progression reports and they're going to be housed here. So this site is geared toward all of our construction progression clients. AZ Drone is still going to be doing the basic introduction to who we are and what it is we do. So as I'm doing this one, this is, as I said, roughed out. So we're just looking at the website, but I've got several flights from this week that I need to start getting up over here and um, start making that transition of moving all of our construction progression work to here. So I wanted to work on one of our flights that we've done this week, and it's a unique location. It's a, just an open raw land site that is just getting ready to be built on. So this one is at the start of everything. So this is gonna be a great one to follow along with. Now on this particular website, we're using WordPress, we're using Xtheme. And for the folks on my Patreon channel, we've actually gone into some depth on utilizing WordPress for page building, for website building, and for doing these construction progression reports. So if you're not a Patreon member, um, hey, you might wanna sign up to that. Uh, we do have some fun conversations uh, each week on Sundays. We do um, a live Zoom meeting together. Um, but you can go check out the Patreon channel after. The uh, link is down in the show notes below. And also, if you'd like to learn more about drone construction progression reporting and the types of deliverables we do, you might want to head over to AZ Drones Teachable, which is also linked down below. All right, with, um, with my own personal advertising out of the way, um, I'm doing this as a, as a exercise with no net because um, I wanna show you the things that you're gonna go through and the things that you're going to forget to do because we are going to forget things along the way as we're doing our website building. Um, you know, there's some things that we're gonna forget while we're doing the website itself. There's some things we're gonna forget for making content for ourselves. So today I'm gonna to be working on a new page for this flight. And I'm already logged into the See My Build website. I'm gonna go over to the dashboard. And so we do some pretty unique deliverables for our clients. Um, one of the things that I like to do is actually create a nice web presentation for my customers that makes it easy on them to find all their information in one place. Um, I've already started making a new page. So once again, this is not a WordPress class here. Um, so you're not gonna walk away knowing how to do WordPress. It could be any other builder out there that you want to do um, your web development with, most likely you're going to be able to do similar things that we're doing with our deliverable pages. So the property that we were dealing with was uh, 15375 North High Lonesome Way. That's over in Talking Rock. So that's kind of headed north out of Prescott. I'm going to go into the edit the page really quick. And so I had already initially set up the page. It's a blank page. And we're going to be using the X theme to stylize the page and to put the content into. So I'm going to jump over here to Pro. And we're just waiting for the Pro to come up. And there we go. So how would we like to start building this? Well, I'm going to build this from scratch. And over on the left-hand side, I have a new section here. And in that section, I would like two columns. So there I go. I've got column number one and column number two. We're going to be putting some information in here. Now, one of the first things that I wanted to do was actually put a background image in here for this particular project. And so I'm going to go down to advance. Once again, we're not going to be uh, instructing here on all of the ins and outs of WordPress, but you're coming along with me. So this is what I normally do uh, when I get back from a flight. I will sit down and start compiling all of the information that we've gathered, be it video, still images, still images used for modeling. And I would go through and build each of the components. In the case of this location, we're gonna be showcasing some video. We're gonna showcase a 3D model. 
um, we might have a couple of still images in there because as this project's starting out, um, we don't have everything blocked out yet for the home site. They wanted us to come out to make sure that we documented the changes in the landscape before the construction started. So one of the things that I wanna do in here is put a background image in and I'm gonna add that image from my library. So I have an image that I got ready for you. And so one of the things that I was saying about working with no net, as I start going through some of this stuff, um, I will realize, oh, I didn't grab the embed code for the video. Oh, I didn't uh, you know, upload the music file for this part, or I forgot to upload some of these images. So as we're working on new web pages, um, it does pay to get things organized ahead of time. And um, in the case of this one, I've done a little bit of organization. I've already created the video for this one, but I was going to start recording this and I said, oh, you don't have a background header yet. So let's insert that background into the post. So the image in the background here is a still image from the job site. So I always like to include those in the top for clients. And it's also, you can see I've dropped the opacity on it a little bit. So it's not, uh, we're not seeing the full on image. We've got it uh, set down to 50% opacity instead so that when we type things into these columns, they will be readable. So on the left hand side here, I'm just going to do a standard text box here. And just fair warning for you, this is going to be a longer video because we're walking through building one of these pages. So I'm closing that one out and we're just gonna put some placeholder text in here for now. So this is 15375 North. Whoops, I can type today. So that's the name of the property location. That's the address there for this build coming out. And then I will put some details into the second column here about when this particular one was shot, et cetera. So we're off and running. We now have a top bar for our website, and now we wanna start putting some content into there. I'm gonna do a little sidetrack here just for a moment. Um, part of the video that we're doing, so this particular client would like some audio files in the video, um, some nice, nice uh, smooth music. And so I use soundstripe.com for licensing audio files. The reason I bring this one up today, so I have licensed the same audio file a couple of times because I'm using it on different projects, but I got a notification on my channel that um, I was getting hit with a copyright infringement um, for using this particular audio file. Another company is saying that, um, that uh, I don't have the, uh, the license for it. So I got back to them today and let them know, hey, this is, this is uh, licensed through Soundstripe. And Soundstripe has been doing several things now to help us uh, make sure that we don't get these copyright claims um, when we're doing all the right things. Now, what's really weird, and the reason why I just wanted to bring this up, um, I had uploaded another project on one of my other channels just yesterday, and I got a copyright notification on it. Here's the thing, I even put the Soundstripe code in. Let me tell you all, if you're doing video on YouTube or any of the other platforms, these copyright companies that are watching over everything, they're gonna pounce on you. And I mean pounce on you. So you wanna make sure that um, you're doing their, your licensing properly, you're with a subscription service like Soundstripe or some of the other ones out there. There's a lot of great ones out there. But even when you do all the right things, you're going to occasionally get hit with a copyright notification. You can respond to YouTube. Um, you can let them know, in my case, I'm a Soundstripe member, et cetera, et cetera. So the audio file in this one today as well um, in, on the web page um, has this particular song again, and I did get another license for it. So hopefully I won't get a copyright strike for that. But I just wanted to tell you about that if you're gonna start getting into these types of things and you're using multimedia presentations, copyright strike might pop up. It's not the end of the world. Don't panic, let Google or let YouTube know and you'll be all set. So here we are back over on the page with my little um, with my little sidetrack there, my apologies. And we're gonna add a new section. So in this new section, this is where we're gonna start putting some of our content. And in the case of this one, for my second section, I'm going to do 
um, two columns. We're going to have one at two thirds and one at one third. So that's what we're selecting there. And so now we can start putting things into column one and column two. So for this particular project, I actually did a two dimensional model. I did a three dimensional model for this project as well. Um, we did an ortho mosaic, we did a digital elevation model, we did video, and we did some stills. Now I've found always that it's nice to come out with that video first. Um, that really catches people's attention. So we need to use a video uploading service. We can use YouTube to host our video for us and then get an embed code from them. Um, we could use another service like Vimeo. So the folks that I'm working with have their own Vimeo account. So going forward for all the projects that we're doing for them, we will be utilizing their Vimeo account. Now, what's really nice in a lot of these website builders like WordPress, um, you know, like Squarespace, some of these uh, pretty straightforward ones is they'll allow you to embed video and audio and images. And so in Xtheme, which I'm using with WordPress, we have our elements here. I'm gonna click on an element here and I just would like to go get a classic embed and we're doing a classic embedded video and now I'm going to close that really quick and so here we go I can actually put the embed code right over in here on the left hand side now here's where I did do some prep work for us today um, I've already set this up on Vimeo so we already uploaded the Vimeo presentation I'm going to go here and get the embed code and I'm just going to do a quick copy I'm going to go back to the web page and I'm going to paste that embed and check it out right there. We've got the uh, embed code there so people can view the video. Now what's going to happen in that right hand column is we're going to put a little text box into here. And so this is similar to my standard presentations that I do for clients when it comes to our web deliverables. Don't forget, we do provide them images, video and data as well via Dropbox. But I just feel like it's nice to give a simple presentation to our customers because not everyone who's going to be looking at the data that we provide, not everyone is a builder or a surveyor or a real estate broker or, you know, sometimes we'll have the buyers looking at these. Probably they don't have expertise in all these fields, so we have to keep that in mind and make some presentations that are very obvious to them what they're seeing, okay? So in the text box on the right-hand side, I'm going to be writing up some information later, and that information will describe what's going on in this particular video and what viewers can expect as we do new videos and we do new pages for them. So there we go. I'm gonna go back over to here. So already very quickly, we got the embed code. Now, let me tell you, if I wasn't logged into Vimeo, I'd have to log in, um, you know, go through a couple steps in the process um, to, uh, to get that embed code. So this is something that I did line up and have ready for you. But as you start building similar pages to this, if you've decided that you wanna do uh, web deliverables as well, there's a lot of moving parts here. So you're gonna have your video, you're gonna have your stills, maybe a slideshow for the stills maybe some kind of gallery presentation for the stills. Maybe you're going to embed a 2D model. Maybe you're going to embed a 3D model. Maybe you're going to do before and after 2D models. All these things are possible, but they're all going to lead into additional time. So as you're thinking about all the components that you want to provide your clients, keep that in mind as you're getting ready to price the project as well. All right, we're going to make a third section here. Here we go. And now here's section number three. And in section number three, I'm just gonna change things up for getting people to move their eyes around the page a little bit. So on the left-hand column, we'll have our standard text box again here, boom. And throughout um, my other YouTube videos here on this channel, you'll come across some more presentations like this as well. I'm just updating this one as we're transitioning over to the new site. And it gives you another look at some of the things that we do on a, on a typical site for our clients. So in the case of this one, um, what I wanna do is actually drop in a 3D model that we created for the client as well. So this is just a, a one-off. We're not gonna be doing 3D models throughout the entire project, but I thought it would be really nice to have a 3D model at the beginning of this. 
and probably a 3D model in the middle of the entire process and then one more at the end of the process. So we will be presenting different things over time to this particular client. Now, I utilize a company called Sketchfab for showing some of my models and I'm just going right on over and we're grabbing the North High Lonesome Way. So in this one right here, if we click on it, here is the 3D model from our initial flight of this location. It's still resolving itself. There we go. So, okay, we have, um, we have the 3D model available to us. We don't have it in the website yet, right? So we're going to need to embed this as well. And before we do that though, let's just take a look at that 3D model. So this was a low resolution 3D model. We did not go to the higher end processing, but this still gives a really great feel for the location. You can see the slope of the land. It's very obvious. We also didn't do a full grid. Um, we only did a north and south pass with this. So we could have in fact done north, south, east, west. We would have had more detail throughout, of course. And along the edges, these edges are not the client's property. This, uh, this area right in here is where they're going to be building. So on Sketchfab, if I scroll down a little bit, we're going to see, hey, there's an opportunity for an embed code right there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that embed code and do a copy. And there's our copy to clipboard as well. And now let's go back to the website. And once again, we need to put another embed. So I'm just going to grab myself a classic embed again. And let's go ahead and close that little elements box right there. Sometimes it misbehaves and doesn't want to close like it's doing right now. That's really weird. My apologies for this. Like I said, we're doing this without a net. So let's click into here now that it finally closed. We're just going to put that embed code right into there. And so this is moving along quickly, but remember I did a little bit of prep work before we started into this process. So always keep that in mind. There's going to be more behind the scenes. You don't just whip through uh, building a new web page, even if it's a very simplistic web page. Now, as I'm building this as well, um, down the road, I am going to create a preset for this. So from now on, once I've got the templates laid out the way I want to, um, I can do a preset. So right now we have no presets, but I can actually define one later. And that's what I'm going to do a little later on. But so we can make these templates for ourselves that are reusable templates. And if we like the layout that we're doing on our pages, we can just come right back and insert uh, one of these templates for ourselves and speed up the process. But before we do anything else, I just want to hit the save button really quick here. All right. So by the way, if I'm sounding kind of mellow, I am kind of mellow. It's a tired morning around here. Um, we've had a busy couple of weeks, so catching up with myself and catching up with uh, building these pages. So I've got several more of these to do to do today, and they will speed along a little more when I'm not uh, talking to the camera so much. After hitting that save button, let's take a look here. Um, I just want to see what this page is starting to look like. And all right, so we've got North High Lonesome Way, and it didn't quite space it out well for me, so I'll have to put some gaps in there afterward. But then we have that column for where we're going to put some text, and then we have the column where we actually have the video going in here. And so this particular site um, is sponsored by the, um, the real estate agent that we're dealing with on this one. So we had his information up at the front as well. But so nice, clean video presentation. This is gonna give people a really great idea of what's happening on the job site and um, give them a feel for where they are in their progress on their new home being built. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause that one there. And then scrolling on down that next section that we created um, for the three-dimensional model um, is right down here. So using Sketchfab's uh, embed code, we are able to actually view that 3D model right inside of this web page. And we can actually zoom right on into this. We can also go to a full screen down here on the right-hand side. We can also navigate ourselves back over to Sketchfab if you'd like to see the other models that I have open to the public. So fairly quickly, I'm not gonna say very quickly, but fairly quickly here, we've got the groundwork for a new custom page for a client. 
one of the other things that I'll need to do um, for my clients going forward is password protect their presentations, those folks who want those password protected, and um, just to keep them private and within their company. We also do public ones as well. So if clients don't mind showcasing their work, hey, that's kind of a great advertising moment, isn't it? You know, if we're showing the progress of how a builder is doing a job for you, uh, or how a builder is doing a job in general, that might drive them some more traffic, getting to see um, the type of care and attention to detail that they're providing to their sites. So whenever you're talking to your clients, if you're going to be doing custom web de deliverables, ask them if they want to be in the public eye or ask them if they'd rather keep it private and make sure to let them know about the benefits of keeping it in the public eye. So there we go. We've already got two major parts of our presentation lined up in here. I will also be putting a two-dimensional model in here, which we don't have to go through all of that together. But in the end, what is going to happen, I'm just going over to the left-hand side, is now we have three sections to our uh, customized page. Up at the top, you'll notice the load a template and save a template. I am not done with this page yet. I'm going to be adding some more sections into it. So I'm going to get that rough draft build out done first. And when I'm satisfied with the overall look and feel of the page, I can go in here, do the save template, and then reuse that template over and over again, not only for this project, but for other projects as well. So once again, in here, going further down, I could use one of the many gallery applications out there for WordPress. I could use Slider Revolution. I could use Essential Grid for displaying some of this. And in the case of the pages that we've been developing over on AZ Drone, I use all of these things. So one of the other things you should keep in mind is your client's tastes and preferences. Um, make sure, you know, find out what types of presentations they actually like, what is meaningful to them, because some people will go right to those videos, whereas other people love seeing the 2D ortho mosaic models where we show the before and afters. I always thought with uh, several of my clients, I always thought, hey, the video is going to be the really big wow factor. And what happened is, yes, they enjoyed the videos, but they really, really wanted those two dimensional ortho mosaics where they could show before and after because in under 30 seconds time, seeing that before and after, everything they need to know about the changes in the job site from the last visit are spelled out right there. So simple and so easy to follow along with. Well, all right, everyone. So like I said, we we're working with no net today. I was kind of treating this almost live stream like and I still have a lot more to do on this. And then I've got several more flights that we need to build their pages for as well. I don't want to drag you through all that. However, you know, let me know um, because on the Patreon channel, we do Zoom meetings and we can go through some more of this in depth. Or if you think that this would be a good live stream uh, going forward, we can do more building together. But I really want to know what channel members want because I don't want to do an hour or two hour long assembly video and um, have people lose interest in that. But if you would like to see full builds, let me know. And um, if you're interested in learning more about WordPress and Xtheme and building these types of pages, please pop on over to the Patreon channel and check it out because we do have several videos from late spring and early summer where we walk through in a Zoom conference call with some of our members and showed them how some of our pages get built and how we do our web development. So I just wanted to share with you how we're doing these customized pages today and also share with you that uh, seemybuild.com will be uh, under development probably over the next couple of months. We've got to do a little more with the front end. But the bigger part is we're going to be sending our clients now over to here to see their web pages on their progress. So that's the big part here is I wanted to stop building on AC Drone and start building here so that our clients are used to going to seemybuild.com. Well, I hope everyone has a great day, and if you're out flying, I hope you have fun and safe flights, and we'll see you again real soon in the near future because we'll be doing another follow-up to this. As we finish this page out and finish the other pages out, I'll bring you back in here and we'll take a tour through some of the other job sites that we're working on and what their presentations look like because everyone's presentations are not going to be the same. Have a great one, everyone. We'll see you again really soon.